Come on, YouTube. There we go. Apparently. <clears throat> what up, gamers? Hello, YouTube? Can you actually function as intended? You're only like 30,000 years old? Good lord. <clears throat> ah, there we go. Hey, guys. No offense, but I don't like you. Then you can get the F out. I'll just delete you from the channel. Like, okay, jackass. <clears throat> you know what I just realized? A modder really, 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 for me, needs to make the Lunar Lancer into the generic Dark Souls armor because I just realized he does a fat roll. <laughs> that would be beautiful. They could have all the shiny VFX and stuff. Okay, um... What was I going to tell you guys? There was something I needed to update you guys on. Oh, yeah. So, you know how there's the crystal pack here, at least for PC, because we have the Paragon update. No idea when it's coming out on consoles, guys. I did get an email from Trove that specifically says the Paragon update is coming to consoles. It doesn't give a date. <laughs> So my guess, uh, last time they ended up doing that email, uh, it ended up taking two weeks, I think. I think that was the Lunar Lancer update, right? Um, countdown to a new era of tropes. So that was actually sent December 3rd. So if I had to guess, that would be either next Tuesday or the Tuesday after. Because Tuesday is always when they end up updating. So it would be the 14th or the 21st. Unless you guys just so happen to get it today, but I really doubt it. Um, and then the other thing I wanted to show you guys was, uh, anyways, as I was saying about this powerful Paragon pack, right? So I thought that this was a one-time purchase. It is not. It is literally just pay to win. You can buy it an infinite amount of times. I bought it because I thought it was just going to be like, uh, okay, I buy it once, that's it, it's gone forever. But uh, I got I got baited. <laughs> so that was a waste of money, but I mean, hey, whatever. At least I got some pinatas that I can throw to you guys a little bit later in the stream, I suppose. 125. You'd think that's a lot, but it's not. Especially when you consider, like, yeah. Also, hey, Swuff. Hey, Troon. Hey, hey, guys. Oh, hey, Damien. Uh, Damien, did you end up adding me on Halo, by the way? Or Xbox or whatever? I don't know because I don't know if I ever get notifications or anything. Okay, um, I wanted to double check and see. Yeah, I actually do have quite a, a decent amount of Paragon marks. So I could potentially craft some of this stuff. I'm looking at Walton just because it gives you the movement speed, but it's like... I don't know if I 100% want that. Otherwise, uh, I'm sorry that I didn't have a video the other day. Was that yesterday? Or maybe the, maybe it was the day before yesterday. I, I took the day off. I've been kind of just... I don't know. I haven't really been as much in the mood for like streaming and stuff. So I've kind of just been chilling uh, myself off camera. And frankly speaking, I'm addicted to Minecraft. <laughs> I've got like... Uh, I've got so much footage on the multiplayer server that I need to edit through. It's actually ridiculous because I, with my single player, that's like a very slow road and I kind of want it to be a slow road with you guys. But um, yeah, the multiplayer series is, it's coming along pretty far. <laughs> a lot of the stuff that I've been doing behind the scenes. Yeah, Swuff, I guess that's the best way to put it. Mental health days. Exactly. I never know what to call it because I always just kind of figure it's like, I don't like taking days off, but sometimes you just gotta. And I mean, thanks, thanks to all of you guys and gals, I'm self-employed. So it's like, exactly. 
mental health days. I'll try my best to remember that because that's basically what it was where it's like, I just, just needed some time for me, you know? Anyways, uh, let's see here. I just trying to rearrange my inventory because we're about to have it completely filled out with garbage. Not enough slots. I'm not trying to put it in my chest. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, double XP pot. Grab this guy's dumb quest. And let's get to... Oh, hello, five star. Let's go. What? PlayStation got the Trove update for Paragon? But Xbox didn't? I, I just checked. Nintendo Switch got an update today. It was not the Paragon update. So I just assumed nobody got any updates. But I will double check that on my PlayStation after this. And if that's true, I'll make like a short video letting you guys know about it. But that is stupid. I mean, hey. Go have fun, PlayStation players. But I guess screw everybody else. It's not like they're doing it on purpose. They'll get the update out, but that's surprisingly quick. Where, why is my orb boss radar not working again? Like it was working two seconds ago, but now I lost track of the boss. You think there's actually a boss? I think it's lying, but I'm going to stick around for a little bit here. Cause yeah. Um, yeah, I'll try. I'll, I'll try and add you up, Damien. I'm not sure. Like, the Xbox app confuses me. Oh, hey, look at that. The boss was literally right there. So does that mean my orb boss radar is off? I don't know why it just defaults to off most times. It's weird. No, it's on. Yeah, I thought so. It just wasn't working. Okay, cool. Um... Uh, I do actually have a video already talking about um, how to get mastery and stuff, and it's a pretty recent one at that. I, You know what I realized when I was going through some of my videos the other day? I realized that I never actually did a proper video uh, tutorial talking about crystal rings. I think, like, because the weird thing is I thought I already had a tutorial on it, but the funny thing is that I had videos where I talked about Paragon update and I talked about Paragon levels and I talked about uh, crystal rings, but I still don't have like a dedicated tutorial to it. So I got a little bit confused. So yeah, uh, I'm going to try and have a crystal ring video out this week. Uh, for those of you guys that haven't been keeping up just because you're going to be getting the Paragon update any minute now uh, for consoles, which apparently it's already on PlayStation for you guys. So that's pretty cool. Uh, you know what? I'm going to oddly like change the description. There we go. Also, sorry, Bun Bun. Uh, uh, uh. The update on console. Uh, so PlayStation apparently got the update. I did see an update on Nintendo Switch, uh, but it doesn't have the Paragon update. And apparently there's no update on Xbox either. Like, I, it's weird. I don't know. Don't ask me, okay? They just... I'm sure they messed something up, but it's only a matter of time before the updates come out. My radar has been glitching for the last few days. Uh, which one, Swuff? Are you on PlayStation? Because that would make sense. Because the PlayStation version of Trove is probably the most jank version that there is. Do you have a gondo you would like to sell to me for 21 mil? What, Spooky? Uh, I have two gondas that I intended to give away. And I just never got around to doing it. <laughs> I don't know if I ever will. <laughs> like, I want to. But at the same time, it's like... I don't know. Um, yeah, you know what, Loki, and anybody else that's keeping up with Halo, so the actual campaign of Halo comes out tomorrow, so I'll be streaming that. That's going to be 10 a.m. Pacific time. Um, I don't know why it's one of the top-selling games on Steam. I, like, I can't... 
why are people buying the Halo campaign for like full price when you can literally just get Xbox Game Pass for 10 bucks, which comes with the Halo campaign, by the way. And then you can just not renew your Xbox Game Pass once you've beaten like the campaign's not going to last a month. So it's like, what the heck? And I think a lot of people, because there was a buddy of mine uh, when I went to the gym the other day, and he was like, "Bruh, you gotta, you gotta get Halo." Me and my buddies are getting Xbox Game Pass, so we're all gonna end up playing co-op together. And I was like, "Hey, man, newsflash: they don't have co-op day one for the campaign. It's coming out May 2022." And it was like, "Oh, so yeah." I oh man, I haven't even done a Dragon on Home stream. In like a week or two but i mean i want to stream it but at the same time like I, I that game kind of fell off didn't it because as soon as i got to the point where it required me to do the next dungeon and i only noticed i i didn't notice it on stream but i noticed it afterwards i got lots of uh messages from people that are actually quitting the game so pretty much all of the people that would have carried me in the next dungeon and dragon and home are gone from the game so it's like i don't think i'll ever be able to do the next dungeon so yeah that that's the main reason why i haven't streamed dragon on home for a while oh that's what you meant swuff sorry yeah the the mod itself i know it's yeah it's jank i don't know why sometimes it just decides not to work it's weird What's your favorite class based on classroom ability? That would be Shadowhunter more than likely. Yeah, you know what? I would expect if PlayStation's already got the update, probably next Tuesday is when Xbox will get it. Hopefully Nintendo Switch, but I mean, who knows, man? Who knows whether or not the Switch version of Trove is ever going to be updated. It kind of sucks that they have like so many distinct versions of the game now and it's just like bruh um efficient way to get dragon coins spend money there is no way other otherwise like legit oh there's an air five star yes it is a mini map mod and yes it is uh public I don't know. Don't even ask me how these freaks, these amazing modders, ended up figuring out how to make a mini map in Trove, but they did. Which means that the devs could easily just rip the code and add it to the game. Will they? No. But Trove desperately needs a proper mini map, dude. I'm not even used to the normal vanilla map anymore just because, like, why? Whoops. I gotta actually start the objective. Uh, somebody else asked earlier too about this costume. It's from the geode uh, hub area. There's the geode crafting table. And it's got a Lunar Lancer costume, among other costumes. Uh, the minimap mod, I'm pretty sure, is literally just minimap. Just go to Trovesaurus and look up minimap and you, you should find it. Uh, but yeah, so aside from memeing, getting dragon coins sucks. It's extremely time gated, uh, and in a lot of ways, I would f uh, say that it feels it feels old. Like dragon coins have barely changed since they got added to the game, despite the fact that they've constantly added more and more dragons, uh, without making it easier to obtain the coins to even get dragons so it's just okay it's it's really dumb like i feel like the dragon coins in general and just how dragons are obtained really need to uh be more under control like it needs it needs updated you know it's it's pretty bad The mini map mod on Steam Workshop. I have no idea. I wouldn't think so because for some reason a lot of the modders uh, don't really like putting things on the Steam Workshop. I don't know if it's because like it doesn't give them as much credit or something. I I don't know. I don't I don't understand. So I'm not gonna pretend that I do. 
<clears throat> Can you still get a free character unlock by leveling your character? Yes. Uh, it's just certain characters will... Like, you can't get any class. If you're thinking about, like, the bard or something. Advanced classes don't work with the class coin. Which is kind of lame, but... Oh, it is on Steam Workshop? Okay, cool. Thanks for confirming. I don't use a Steam version of Trove, so I wouldn't know. But, cool. Is there a way to farm Starfire Dragon Fragment? <laughs> Delves. Yes, it's just as terrible as it sounds. I'm pretty sure the Starfire Dragon became... Like, Starfire Dragon was already brokenly... Like, it was just broken in Shadow Towers. And now that they threw it into Delves, it, like, barely works. It is the worst dragon in the game to get. And not because it's rare because of oversight whoops this is a five star we already did what's wrong with me um are dragon souls worth it dragon souls are probably more worthwhile the dragons you get out of them are like cookie cutter they kind of look like crap but the trade-off is that you get a lot more mastery from the soul dragons because you consume them and then you get badges and different forms and blah 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 can you build my neon ninja i do not know what this means i have i have neon ninja videos if that's what you're asking i still got a, a few videos to do like the lunar lancer versus delves and u10 which obviously you guys already know how much he handles u10 but i still gotta do those kind of funner more experimental videos I don't know, I just haven't had time. Or I have had time and I've just been... I don't know. I, I've been busy. Lancer or Vanguard? Uh, after the rework, Lancer. Lancer's probably my favorite character right now. And we'll see how long that lasts. But so far, it's... Uh, very powerful and very fast. I'm not utilizing my speed because it's generally really jank as you have probably noticed like the grappling hook barely works but when it does we where's an air five star i feel like other people are just rushing them <clears throat> ow oh yeah, we'll do this for a little while, and then as usual, uh, once we end up getting our five-star dungeon daily quest done, we'll probably end up going into the Delves. Maybe a Leviathan Delve, if I can actually afford a portal, but pretty br brutal. The price, anyways. Um, Bizamok. I'll try and remember, Damien, but otherwise you can at me when I'm not streaming. And then otherwise, yeah, I'm I'm down, dude. That said, I have not been playing Halo as much. I'm kind of hoping that when the campaign comes out, they add more multiplayer stuff because three maps gets boring. Like legit. That no. 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 There we go. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's Paragon levels, exactly. That's why, you know what? I gotta get rid of some inventory items. Yeah, that's the thing, right? The game doesn't really have very good representation of Paragon levels. Like, I mean, I guess, what do you expect? It just kind of shows, you know shows the same number in the top left but i i don't know i feel like it could be represented with like a star or something something to just show that you're like max level but you're gaining you know the paragon levels which i mean it's not like it matters that's the thing too the game should really have like it should have uh, one thing that i always thought trove could really use i remember this idea years and years and years ago where i thought how they would have like um like nameplates you know because you can see other players names but how cool would it be if 
certain achievements would end up giving you like little icons behind your names or even change the text or the font or something. Paragon levels could give you something like that, like something more cosmetic that's like, I guess, bragging worthy. I don't know. It's kind of like how the there's the Paragon hat, hat aura, <clears throat> excuse me. And I would say that that's probably like the closest we get to like a prestigious item that nobody has, but it looks like so cool and unique that it's like, oh my God, what is that? Because otherwise, Trove kind of acts like it has stuff like that, but there's really, like, nothing super impressive. Outside of, I guess, wings kind of do that, but, I mean, are you using your wings often enough? No. Only if you would use, like, a Pegasus mount, in which case, why would I use a Pegasus mount when running is faster? <clears throat> Oh, the bar. Oh, yeah, you're right. Okay, I didn't... It's been years since I leveled up a character. Most recent one was barred, but it's not like I was paying attention to the color. I didn't know the XP bar changed from green to yellow. That's a good point. Okay, well, see, that's what I mean, though, is it's like... It's... Then at least it's like, okay, I know what's going on. But if somebody doesn't know, then I don't know. It should be like a star by your name or something. And then every, like... Maybe every thousand Paragon levels, then um, then they could change it, and it could add like another star or something, or give you like another name plate or a name color or something. I don't know. I still think that name colors shouldn't be tied to the leaderboard. It should be more so. Um, I mean, the leaderboard is fine, but they should really have some stuff. What the heck? Oh, that confused me. Wait a minute, I need to get in our quest. Anyways, we should get different name colors based on achievements. I think that would be cool. Like blue and I don't know. I guess purple's already in the leaderboard, but you know what I mean. <clears throat> I, I just think it would be kind of neat if there was something just something subtle like that. And then they could had they could add ones that you would buy, right? Yeah. Um, or, ooh, or if the badges themselves could be toggled on or off, like, depending which one you want to show off, like a title, right? New World has that, where when you end up completing certain milestones, you can choose one of the titles, so it's something that's designated by the developers, which means that it's not something that can be super trolly. How is server stability in this game? Uh, depends where you're coming from, but generally speaking, I would say it is better than it's been in the past. That said, when there's like slogs of players, which is not as often as you would think, most of all during like events that are actually like fun and people want to grind them, then it can end up being really, really rubber bandy. But most of all, it depends on who's in the world with you, you know, which has kind of been how Trove always dealt with lag. So it, it's it's weird because it's like if I have like another person come next to me in this world and they have a really shoddy internet connection, then I start rubber banding a lot just because Trove is trying to keep us in sync with one another. It's, it's a very weird way that it deals with it. Where the heck is this? I see the blue aura. Is it on this floor? Oh, it is. Damn. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, honestly, I would have just been playing... Uh... <laughs> I've been doing lots of Minecraft stuff. Now I'm trying to study up on, like, mob farms and a little bit of redstone and stuff. We ended up getting in our multiplayer world, as you'll see in the videos eventually. I still got to edit, like, a lot. Um, but we ended up getting a skeleton spawner, and I set it up. And uh, I wanted to have an item filter, and then I realized, like, it just it just doesn't work for that kind of thing. Like, I'd, I'd have to figure out, like, how it works. Because hoppers only work with half slabs, and it's like, okay, how do I... How do I actually make it so that the mobs are in a specific spot, but the items still end up going down the water funnel? <clears throat> yeah, 
Yeah, Ross, what version of Trove are you on? Because the Paragon update's on PlayStation right now. Uh, not on Xbox, not on Nintendo Switch. But if I had to guess, next Tuesday? Lord knows why the update isn't on other consoles. And for some reason, the devs are like obsessed with the idea that they can only ever update this game on Tuesday. I don't know if there's like some reasoning why. My point is, if you miss the window of uploading it for that Tuesday, why don't you just upload it the next day? Like, I, I just don't get it. There's got to be some politics involved. Uh, I didn't name Phil because I didn't... Do I have a name tag? Can you even name tag villagers, Voodoo? I don't even know. I'd have to double check. Also, hi, Annie. Hi, everyone else. I'm sorry if I didn't say hello. Trove, oddly enough, still takes a lot of my focus. Believe it or not. Can you get out of the floor? Oh, I need it into the floor anyway. No. No, I said. Man, could you imagine, like, this game existing for as long as it has, and it still doesn't have any way of, like... Like, like, why are the invites so intrusive? Why does it lock my controls out completely and show it right in the middle of my screen instead of a little notification in the corner that I can choose to ignore or look at any time that I want? Like, it's, it's very odd. There was mods that tried to do that, but they didn't work for me. I don't know why. Uh, so I already have other videos talking about the Paragon update, but in short... Uh, after level 30 oh, after level 30 you can continue gaining levels um, and those levels don't really do much they they basically give you a resource that is used to craft uh, crystal rings that's that's basically the function of the update is just crystal rings Which crystal rings uh, give you hidden abilities on characters. So some of them range from being absolutely garbage to this one for Lunar Lancer, which is actually really, really good. Gives you a huge movement speed buff. Uh, some of them are just useless. But even beyond that, crystal rings obliterate stellar rings because their stats are just better even at like even without them being polished. Polished, of course, is how you get the hidden abilities uh, and it's temporary. So you polish the ring, it lasts for 10 days, then it wears out and you got to repeat. How do you polish your ring? Every prime paragon level, which is literally tied to prime numbers from one to a thousand. Yep, stupid. I don't know what jackass came up with that idea and thought, <laughs> okay. And everyone said, yes, nerdlinger. Yes, that's a great idea. I seriously, like, I don't get why Trove, like, gets so nerdy sometimes. It's like, bruh, just make it simple. Just make it so that it's every five, every ten levels. Gives me a prime paragon. But anyways, the point is that it gets harder and harder to end up polishing your ring because of the fact that it, uh, there's less and less prime numbers the higher you go into the numeric value of one to a thousand. It's just, it's dumb. Anyways, <clears throat> it's a cool update regardless. Um, most of all because the crystal ring boxes themselves are actually tradable. Which, hoo hoo hoo, there's been lots of people making a killing on that. Not this guy. I'm, I'm not selling the rings. I don't know why, but I'm just not. It is a really decent way of making flux, though. Even if it's probably not going to last that long. Uh, no, Justin, I'm sorry. Uh, I haven't done anything else on Genshin just because there hasn't really been a point. Like... There's the new, um, the, the new albedo event finally came to a conclusion. So technically I could stream that, but I've heard that it's really, really short. Like the conclusion just is like two lines of dialogue and then it's over. 
And so it's like, I don't really want to stream it if that's the case, you know? And then otherwise it's still just wasting resin and killing time until Ito comes in. Like, it, it, that's the problem with Genshin is it's like, I love the game and I wish that I had a reason to produce content on it, but I don't. The game itself doesn't have anything for me to do, so it's like, okay. Uh, I guess I'll just wait until some new content comes out. It's like, you know, the new five-star character is going to come out in like, what, a week or two? I think it's actually still two weeks away, which is ridiculous when you think about it. And then even then, it's like, he's, he's not even going to last a week. And then we're going to be done with it. That's Genshin. Anyways, we are done with the quest. So, let's see what I got for... Uh, portals yes turds i agree i think that um the paragon level should reset every hundred see the thing is paragon levels in every other video game namely diablo uh is proper where you actually are gaining stats even if it's very subtle man alive we got a lot of crystal threes just chilling in my inventory okay um Unfortunately, I do not think... I'll double check, but I don't think that I have the Leviathan portal. I do. These are the crappy ones, but... I guess we'll end up using them. Whatever. You guys can tag along if there's enough of you. But unfortunately, this is the bad portal where we only get the boss once. Count it. Once. <clears throat> Oh, you can use name tags on villagers. Cool. Okay, I didn't know that. Um, can you talk about reruns, or is that still considered leaks? What do you mean, Voodoo? Like, the new reruns coming? We we know um, what's coming in the next update. We got Shenhei and Junji, or whatever the heck, or Yunji. They're probably in a banner together, but that's going to be the after banner, because otherwise the next rerun's going to be... What's that stupid lightning cat girl? Uh, we know Ning Wong and... God, what is her name? She's like such a forgettable character, but almost all the Genshin characters are nowadays. Crap. Anyways, the lightning girl, that's the single sword character. She's got a new costume too, so that's... Four girl costumes. Guys don't have anything. Because guys don't sell, right, Genshin? That's the thing about Genshin, dude. I love the game. ka -ching, thank you. I love the game, but at the same time, it's like I it's getting harder and harder to separate the game from the developer's greed. You know? And that's hard to do, dude. Like, Trove is 100% just trying to get your money. But even then, like, it's like, I don't really have that many negative things to say about the game other than just general criticisms. But overall, I mean, I'm still playing the game because I still enjoy it. As opposed to a game like Genshin, where it's like, I want to keep playing it, but the game won't let me because it's trying to optimize how much money it drags out of your wallet. You know? <laughs> and it's like, I'm just not interested anymore, dude. It's like, I, I'd rather just save my money. Spend it on other games. Like, you can buy, like, a full-price game for the price that it costs to end up getting one of the new five-star characters. Actually, the five-star character is going to cost you more. <clears throat> yeah, no, they, they've already talked about that many times before, like, where they basically just said they're not going to have the Dendro area and the Dendro element added to Genshin until sales dip. Unfortunately, sales are not dipping. I never understood it because it's like, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's my generation. Maybe it's just me in general being a weirdo. It's like, I'm very picky when it comes to spending money on video games. Like, it's like, it's funny, right? I'll go out and eat and it costs more than a video game and I don't bat an eyelash to it or go, oh my God, that's expensive. It's just one meal. And then I won't buy an $80 game. It's 80 for me because I'm Canadian, but still it's like, it's gonna give me more entertainment. And it's like, 
It's just weird. Like, I'm very frugal when it comes to games and spending. I say that, and then I spent way too much on Genshin. But that was because at the time, I really wanted to support the game, and it was really exciting. And, it, you know, it was like gambling. It was my first gacha game, so I didn't know what the hell was going on. But I am so over it, dude. And it's like the more updates that come out to Genshin, the more you just see that they're just doing the bare minimum that they can to update the game. Not responding to fans or anything that anybody has to say. Like, like at least with Trove, they're adding interesting stuff. Like, god damn, you can say what you will against, you know, the Paragon update, but it's a good goddamn update. It's really good. Especially the fact that they last second made the Crystal Rings tradable, right? Oh, there we go. Gotta wait till 3.0 for the big updates. Yeah, I don't know, Xiao. We'll see what happens, man. The, uh, the new area in Genshin 2.4 looks dope. It really does. But I'm scared that it's gonna be short-lived because I think the other thing that kind of woke me up to Genshin was when the game first came out and they didn't have the newest area added yet, which was in Azuma, you know, there was a lot of intrigue about, okay, how are they going to continually update this game? Are they going to end up putting the same level of polish that they did to everywhere else? Is it going to be drip content? It's drip content, which is arguably not interesting in the slightest. It's about trying to keep people playing, keep people coming back, because the more often people are playing, the more likely they are to spend money. That is every, like, at every point that Genshin has had a chance to turn it around and actually give players something that they've been asking for, they always end up holding off just enough and you know it's psychological warfare for them to try and get money out of you. That's all they're interested in. They're not trying to make a passionate game that's ripping off Breath of the Wild. They literally just ripped off Breath of the Wild and ended up using all their sneaky gacha BS to try and trick people. And it's like, no stop anyways i'm sorry i'm rambling so much about genshin but it's a it's a big controversial topic for me because i still love the game so much because breath of the wild is one of my favorite games but i'm just so sick and tired of this greedy ass china corporation you know it's like i'm i i put a lot of my money into genshin and I'm, I'm still small fry compared to the whales on that game. And I, like, it, like it's like they made $2 billion within the first year of the game. And it does not show. You know, the, the, uh, the only things that I would say is whoever they've got designing the look of the map and whoever's doing the music, those people deserve a raise because whoever they've got working on the gameplay needs to be fired. Whoever's been doing the story needs to be fired because the quality of those has dropped off exponentially. Like there hasn't really been anything interesting added to the game ever since the initial release. I mean, outside of new areas and stuff, but the way that they went about it is just like, what the hell? But that's okay. Only a couple more months and then we get Elden Ring, baby. And then I will convert this entire channel into an Elden Ring channel. Whoop. I don't know why we just bam, turn around completely. Funny thing too is uh, I was excited for the, the New Horizon game. I'm not a big fan of those games. I thought that the story sucked in the first one, which haha, unpopular opinion. Um, or maybe it's just that I don't like bad stories. Um, anyways, the new game looks dope as hell, but guess what? It releases the same month as Elden Ring, so goodbye Horizon. I don't want to be playing two open world games at the same time, dude. Especially when Elden Ring, it's like, that's going to be one of the best games ever created by a human beings. Like legit. I'm so pumped for it. Wee! Oof! Um... Sorry, I'm tr I should be trying to keep up with you guys' comments. Um, trying to make a new class, what do you recommend me using? Well, what's your existing class, man? 
Otherwise, I don't know. The classes that I like are all, with, all the fast ones where you don't gotta put any thought process into it. So either a Delves character or a Speed Farmer. In which case, a Speed Farmer character, probably Lunar Lancer, Neon Ninja, Vanguard, Bard, I guess. I'm not the biggest fan of the Bard, honestly. Like, I like that that character is in the game. But I'm not a fan of that weirdo type of gameplay. Sorry, just give me a second here because I got to try and stay alive and then I'll read more comments. He's not deadly. It's just uh, for those of you that don't know, if or the U10 Leviathan does a spin and then his next one that kills you through death defying, as you can see. <laughs> so all you got to do to beat this guy is just pull back after he does his first spin because shortly after he's going to do the next one. So he's gonna do it again and then he dies <laughs> and the uh the actual u10 leviathan does the exact same mechanic too i remember it was so confusing when i first started fighting him it was like what why did it kill me you're death defying and then you realize it's not complicated at all you just gotta pull away or or you can use like a barrier uh or something that gives you invulnerability during the spin that was odd all right, let's use a key on Shadow Hunter, please. Bam, 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 bam. Did we get a good drop? No, probably not. So unfortunately, that's that's what I mean when I say it's the bad portal, because we're not gonna get the boss the next time, so we're already done. Wah, wah, wah. Hey, multi, what up, man? Also, hey, Bobby. I'm sorry, I did see your comment. I just didn't uh, respond. I don't know why I thought I did. What? What's the difference between entrancing illustrious and regular crystal ring? What the hell? I don't know. Is that what they call them? Signatory ring. Is that what they call them? Are they different grades? Signatory? No, it's all signatory. I don't know. There's crystal one to four, so... Hopefully that answers it. Uh... <laughs> yeah, no problem, Justin. Like, that's the thing. As much as it sounds like I'm hating on Genshin Impact, it is still one of the best games out there. It's a free-to-play free to play Breath of the Wild, and it's a phenomenal game when you first get involved with it, but the further you get, there's no endgame content, like, at all. And that's kind of the most disappointing part. Nah, man, Genshin's not going to fall off. See, the thing is, as much as I'm kind of at the end game and, you know, a lot anybody else who's at the end game with Genshin is kind of done with it. Not to say that I've quit or anything. I still log in for my dailies and junk. And if there's ever anything interesting, you bet your butt I'm going to stream it or post about it. Um, We'll do another one of these portals because why not? But uh, no, they got all the new players now. So that's why, you know, they're doing all the repeat events, right? Does a Paragon update change how XP works? Uh, not, no. XP is basically the same. So the best XP in the game is doing the five-star dungeon quests in U10. And then once those are out, then you just go into the delves. And that's going to end up being the best XP. Um, Paragon levels don't scale. So they always require 3 million XP. It's like 2.9, but we just say 3 million because it's easier. Mm-mm. <clears throat> What will you do for 200k subs? I have no idea, Turts. I'm not planning on it. Subs is just a number. What matters to me is you guys being here. Plus, my sub <laughs> my sub count doesn't increase that much. But, I mean, views are stable, so it's like, I can't complain. I don't really... I don't know. I don't really care about, like, the number of subscribers. What matters to me is you guys, like, as individuals. You know? Like the regulars that I see come into the chats and see you guys in the comments and stuff. That That's what's important to me. To hell with subscriber number. Because otherwise you'll, otherwise you end up being a channel like, you know, some of those big boy channels like PewDiePie or something where he's got a hundred mil subs, but he still only makes like 2 million views, which arguably is the same with me. I'm close to 200k subs. Uh, I'm not making 200k views on every video. 
A lot of my tutorials and stuff do, but usually that's retroactive where they just slowly generate over time. Or maybe something that I cover just becomes relevant. Oh, right. I forgot Godfall was out. That's right. I'll, I'll grab that later, Bobby. You're right. That's also, it's on PlayStation. It's also on Epic Launcher as well. <clears throat> Anyways. Excuse the rant. Chlor Ice Sage. Ice Sage for fun, Chloromancer, if you want to be a boss killer. Like, you kind of are forced to, right? Yes, Shadowhunter desperately needs a rework. Um, yeah, see, that's the thing. Some people like the Bard. Like, that's, that's what I mean. It's not my cup of tea, that type of gameplay, but I know that there's people that prefer that more technical type of thing. It's kind of like a red mage in a video game. I never understood the appeal of temporary buffs. It's just how I work, which is exactly why uh, in games like Genshin, I don't use like food buffs and stuff because it's like I can't be bothered to like concoct a bunch of potions, which is probably why I didn't particularly like The Witcher. Even though my brother is like obsessed with it and talks about how awesome it is. I mean, everyone talks about how it's one of the greatest games ever, but I just couldn't get past the fact that I had to constantly put temporary buffs on my sword and health and whatever else, you know? It just, I don't know. It just wasn't interesting to me. Oh my God, a crystal one ball. Whoa. We didn't get any higher than that. Jesus Christ. We are super deep in the delves, by the way. Yikes. <clears throat> Diff wait different names but same stats oh you mean paragon levels in general matthew no um so the paragon levels basically just give you resources you do not become stronger for paragon levels i know it's confusing because every other video game in existence paragon levels is increasing your stats marginally but still increasing not in trove oh we got empty rooms of creatures i'm an idiot i wasn't paying attention I don't know why I thought it was monolith. I do like the purple and green though. This is like what my intestines would look like. <laughs> oh, that was a bad joke. <laughs> now purple and green is like my favorite colors. That's why. And they just go together so well, don't they? That's why they're in my logo. Uh-uh. -uh. Permatorch is impossible to get. I mean, I've heard that it's possible and more so now that we can actually fight the Leviathan kind of consistently, but I agree. It's very random and that's the stupidest part about it. Uh, this Tomb Raider costume is part of one of the store packs. I don't think it's in the store right now. I think it was part of a summer pack. I could be mistaken. But it's like a neon costume. The best thing that came out of it was the Shadow Hunter costume, though. That that neon costume for the Shadow Hunter is dope as hell, dude. Like legit. I enjoy uh, maining Shadow Hunter, but the problem is I don't deal enough damage. No, I know that's the problem, dude. Like legit. If you, I, I'm not even joking. If you take all of your gems and gear that you can from Shadow Hunter and swap it to another physical character like Neon Ninja or even uh, even um, Lunar Lancer, you will just be stronger and faster. Like just outright 100%. That's the thing that sucks about Shadow Hunter is it unanimously is just worse than other characters. And it sucks because Shadow Hunter is like the coolest, but yeah i hope when they do rework shadow hunter they don't make it some weird janky thing like i hope they actually make it like fun the shadow hunter is definitely one of the funnest it's just not fast enough and doesn't deal enough damage so they gotta iron that out you know excuse me <clears throat> i came back to dills yeah my thoughts exactly Speaking of bleh, it just, it made me think of, um, so Mariko and I have been trying to catch up on JoJo because there was the new season come out and we only just got up to the Giovanni JoJo and our, we just finished the one where, you know, the JoJo that's obsessed with his own hair, whatever that one's called. 
And there's this one character that he meets that's an alien shapeshifter, and he turns into some dice so that he can, like, scam uh, one of the era characters. And as he's, like, being the dice and he's being tossed around constantly, one of Mariko and my favorite part was he, like, rolls the dice into the bowl, and then JoJo sees the little alien as the dice, and he just goes, Wah! And a bunch of puke comes out the side because he's being rolled around, so he's, like, feeling sick. Uh, those are my favorite JoJo episodes, the fun ones that aren't, like, over-serious, you know? <laughs> oh, man. Season 2 is still the best in JoJo. Prove me wrong. I don't care about all the stands and all that crap, dude. Season 2, where it had, uh, what's it called? The, the other Joe star that was in kind of the... The New York Boston era and Dio was like just being introduced or whatever. That was the funniest one because it no matter what ended up happening, when when it looked like the bad guy was about to win, it was always a part of his plan. And that's what I loved about it, because it was just so funny. Yeah, of course I watched One Punch Man. Season two sucked. Hopefully season three is actually good. But JoJo kind of like the newer JoJo's kind of do that, right? Where it's like really inconsistent. Sometimes it sucks and then sometimes it gets going and it gets going hard. But the problem with JoJo is they keep trying to like introduce you into the new villain. And it's, it's kind of like the Dragon Ball formula where it's like, oh, here we go again. Another character that just completely obliterates the existing characters. Like one of Dio's huge powers, you know, the world where he can literally freeze time. And then suddenly that's just a useless ability in season three. It's like, okay. Point is they got the new Jojo season, which I don't know anything about. Other than it's girl Jojo. Which was the uh, invisible girl, I think, or something. I don't know. Either way, it should be interesting when we get to that part. We don't like the Giovanni Jojo because his powers are way too confusing. It's like he punches things and then they come alive and then they're sentient. They're not controlled by him, but they kind of are. And then sometimes he punches people and their consciousness gets sped up. And it's like, what the hell is going on, dude? Is it's almost too anime at this point, you know? Anyways, I don't mean to ramble about JoJo because it is still a great series. Have you watched Bleach? God no. I tried. I tried, dude. No, Bleach is just like to put it into perspective. I grew up with Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z is the king of procrastinating. But when you compare, like, when you compare. An episode like the the fight on Namek with Goku and Frieza and how five minutes and the world's gonna explode is split into like 20 episodes or something stupid you think that's ridiculous and then you go to Bleach or Naruto and then it's just like okay I am done that is like I've never seen it more dragged out I mean obviously it's a successful series and franchise and formula but for me I do not have the patience dude I already had all that happen with Dragon Ball I don't need to watch it in another form with different characters you know that's that's my thoughts towards most anime it's very rare that anime hooks me nowadays yeah, One Piece is exactly the same. Yeah, um, Mariko grew up with One Piece. I didn't. I didn't really watch it, but we started watching it together. And yep, like ten episodes in, we just stopped because it was like, all right, here they go. Because the thing is, the first few episodes are always the best because that's what hooks you, and then they just drag it out, and that's what I don't really care for. That's where, um, literally, what's his name? Uh, Caleb on YouTube. He, he always makes fun of all those anime tropes. And that's why, like, his videos are hella popular and it's goddamn funny, dude. <laughs> the other big one everyone keeps suggesting is Demon Slayer, which we haven't really got into that one yet. But... 
MHA? Is that Monster Hunter something? Does Avatar The Last Airbender count? I've heard last... I've never watched it. I've heard it's good. Uh, I did watch Clone Wars, though, which took a little while to get going, but when it did, oh my god, that was one of the best series. So, I'm assuming Avatar is just as good, but I just don't really like the animation style. Oh, My Hero Academia. Yeah, I always forget that one. Yeah, that's another one everyone always suggests, but we haven't really gotten to it. That one consistently and Demon Slayer are like the big... I, I'd say those are probably the biggest ones just because most people are always suggesting them. But like I said, like it's like... In the odd chance that we even have time to watch an anime, we don't really like watching more than one at a time just because it's like... I don't know. They all kind of blend into each other. You know what I mean? So anyways, I, I'm not saying that i'm looking for suggestions or anything in particular guys i just wanted to share that we're trying to watch jojo and get through it we just want to catch up to what's going on with everything otherwise uh yeah i'm trying to i'm trying to think like there's not really any anime that particularly excites me because a, a lot of it is very formulaic it, it's kind of like genshin you know where it just you can see where they're going with it a mile away and it's like oh top animes i'd suggest is um uh, actually probably one of my all-time favorite was either season two of jojo or part two whatever the hell they call it um full metal alchemist brotherhood that is there's it's they've trimmed the fat on that series like so well there, there's some stuff that drags out a little bit, but generally that is probably the most solid anime series that we ended up watching. Like I watched it with my brother and it was just like we binged the whole thing and it was goddamn brilliant. There's two version of Full Metal as well, which is weird. Like there's one, there's one series um, that like got ahead of the writer and that one sucks. But Brotherhood was the one where once the manga was finished, they ended up redoing it all, and it was really, really good. Yeah, that's right. I keep forgetting the new Spider-Man movie's almost out, too. We should get excited for that, because it's looking amazing. It's, it's late enough for me to spoil stuff about Venom, right, guys? Right? Like, you've had your chance to watch the Venom movie now. If you haven't watched it, you're probably not going to, right? So, anyways, um, spoiler alert for any Venom fans, which any Venom fan would have already saw it. So, anyways, in Venom 2, which I loved it, it was actually an amazing movie because I just love Venom and I love Tom Hardy, like he's one of my favorite actors. Um, it had one of the best post credit scenes I've ever seen in a movie. I'm not even kidding. I didn't. I went into it completely blind. I screamed in the theater with excitement because I always, I kept having this theory, right? Like to point, to paint a little bit of a backstory, which kind of is going to end up spoiling exactly what it is. I'd always thought, okay, Sony owns the rights to Spider-Man. Uh, Disney's paying them out the ass to end up making Spider-Man movies, whatever. It's some partnership they have to end up doing, right? And I thought, that, that's probably what they're trying to do with Venom. They're trying to end up bringing up his buying value, right? So that when Disney wants to end up having Venom come over, they got to use Tom Hardy and they got to pay uh, a lot more to Sony. So that's why they were doing the Venom movies all on their own, or at least that's what my theory was, uh, was to get the buying temperature up. And basically that's what ended up uh, happening because the post credits scene of Venom 2 literally is like him sitting in bed and venom's like oh yeah you want to you want to see some crazy stuff i'll show you what happened in my world and then coincidentally the moment that he ends up doing that if you haven't seen the spider-man trailer basically dr strange is using some type of a spell to make people forget about spider-man and it ends up opening up the multiverse some weird comic book garbage but it leaves a premise for an awesome movie where they're gonna have all the previous spider-man show up or you're gonna have all the previous villains show up and at the post credit scene on Venom, when he's, uh, you know, about to show him the symbiote home world and everything that ended up happening, the Doctor Strange spell goes off, 
and then he's in a different dimension and then venom is looking at the tv and spider-man's on the tv like the actual spider-man so they did it they brought venom into the actual marvel universe and i freaked out dude because venom's one of my favorite characters whoops i wasn't paying attention and uh on top of that you might have noticed I, maybe i'm wrong about this but in the spider-man trailer kind of looked like he was wearing the black suit it might just be noir suit but it would make sense if it's black suit because now venom is canon in the marvel universe so i freaked out i was excited about it. my heart's already racing just thinking about it just because it's like that's awesome dude not to mention for tom hardy as well like the fact that he's in a big ass movie like that like i'm expecting venom might show up a little bit in the spider-man movie coming out but generally they're going to probably save the venom versus spider-man for a later movie anyways long rant over i'm a nerd i like marvel okay i do even though they kind of fell off the deep end for a little bit there spider-man movies i'm always a big fan of though also thank you justin i appreciate it man uh, sorry i see your comments i just haven't uh acknowledged them but i should um <laughs> thanks buddy really appreciate it so that unfortunately is probably already the last of the bosses so yeah oh you got the memento multi nice where the heck is the loot collector there it is the elephant man he's guarding it let's see did we get anything good out of all that we got a memento that i can destroy two other mementos i can destroy did we get a good torch we did not. Ooh, no, really? Okay. Well, I'll take the mementos. <coughs> Excuse me. Destroy that. Bone blade. That one that I already have. God, my inventory is like so confused. There he is. Oh, I do have it. Okay. <clears throat> uh, I like how none of these give me the purples, by the way. Because you gotta get the super rare ones in order to do that. That's the sounds of me moving my inventory. Oh, we got a new Crystal Tree face. Wow, oh my god, I'm so excited about that. You can hear it in my voice. Wait, what? Oh, what? I thought that was just garbage. Okay, I guess that's his banner. Who cares? But still, that's kind of neat, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, um, I guess that's basically it for the uh, for the delves because I don't have any other portals. So let's just spend the rest of our XP potion up on the surface. <clears throat> yeah, I I totally get it, Dutch. It was a bit weird and forced, but that's also because that's supposed to be like the thing that they didn't push very well with Venom 2 is that the movie was basically like G rated, which I thought, you know, they, you know, it didn't really suffer from not having blood or whatever because it was very implied, but it just kind of didn't make sense because Carnage is like a weirdo and, uh, like the character he was playing i forget what his actual name is of that character he, he's basically like some weird cannibal freak psycho sociopath so that's why he was supposed to just randomly bite him but yeah it was it was a bit awkward the way that they ended up doing it but i mean how else would they do it right mm. freedom i'm free to go fast oh my god yeah, Carnage kills for fun, exactly. But I like the dynamic of him and his girlfriend there and everything. It just, it was kind of weird. But you could tell it was all kind of leading up to just Venom and Spider-Man. Which, I'm a happy camper for that. I don't care. That movie is perfect. Bye. Bye. <laughs> 
I don't know. It's just like the funny thing is that comics have always had like the whole multiverse thing going on for such a long time, which is a fantastic excuse for them to go wherever they want with the comics, including bring villains back and fan favorites and junk like that. So the fact that they now have that in like movie form, it's like, dude, it's, it's a good and a bad thing because it means that Hollywood can just shit the bed like any time that they want and just be like, hey, here's a stupid movie. Oh, that was just a multiverse. That's why it was bad. <laughs> I don't know. That, that's what I think anyways. I don't know why I'm just rushing five stars. I'm doing it out of habit because I am acting like I got the quest, but nope. What is the Paragon update? It is the update that adds levels past level 30. How are you flying? What? <laughs> um, hold the jump button and you start gliding in Trove. Oh, oh, you mean the slow fall effect. So that's, uh, <laughs> that's Lunar Lancer. You use your number one ability and similar to the Gunslinger's, uh, slow gliding fall. I think the only version of Trove that doesn't have the Lunar Lancer rework is Nintendo Switch. But hopefully that's coming soon. I mean, Paragon updates on PlayStation. Should be on Xbox next week at the least, right? This will probably be our last dungeon. Just because my XP pot is almost out. And then we could throw down some pinatas. Some. I'm not going to throw them all down, okay? I got to drag this out. This pack cost me $100. For like garbage pinata amount. Also, hello or boss radar. Can you work, please? Or better than that, can the grappling hood work? <laughs> oh yeah. Side note: Fortnite had a big update. I'm not a fan of Fortnite, so I don't really care. But. It's kind of cool that they ended up putting it on the new game engine, and I did reinstall it even if I haven't played it yet. Or maybe I never will. But... I do think it's cool. Somebody also... Uh, my buddy explained to me as well how the battle pass works in Fortnite now, and I cannot believe how good it is. Like the, I'm used to the old battle pass that was kind of bad, but this new one and the way, well, new within the first last few months, it's, it's really good. Even for free to play, you can technically actually grind the battle pass. You only just got to constantly keep playing the game, which is phenomenal. So it's like, if you're some try hard and you just keep playing, uh, Fortnite, you can just keep getting the battle pass for free, which is crazy. Whoops. Uh, I still don't even know what these boxes are or why I'm holding on to them. Boop. Crystal Sea Face that nobody asked for. Yeah, I'll throw some of these pins down. Because why not? Ah, I still gotta get rid of these stellar rings, dude. I'm just hanging on to them out of habit. I don't know. I just don't want to get rid of them. They're my children, basically. Oh, well, we got a few people here. So I'll throw down... Let's throw down seven of them. I mean, it seems like it's not much, but that's a lot of them, dude. That's more than you get, like, per level, so... Because I want to save these pins so I can keep throwing them down per stream. Even though, I'm just saying... All you guys being guests here, you're not going to win anything. Because <laughs> unfortunately, I mean, even I, the host, get nothing. Hey, we actually got the wings, though. Or the mount, I mean. Ooh, wait, I already have this? Oh, I must have bought it already. Wait, what does it loot collect into? It used to give a lot. Please don't tell me they nerfed it. I'm pretty sure they nerfed it, didn't they? Yeah. So it gives 15 each. That's disgusting. It used to give, uh, what was it, like 50 each, I think? I guess I could have sold that. I don't know what those mounts are worth. Uh, Paragon pin. Let's see. The pinatas themselves are worth a lot. Good lord, where's the mount? 
Did I just miss it? Ah, oh, for crying out loud. Uh... There it is. Jesus, 600k. Okay, well, uh, not worth it. Let me get those mounts back. <laughs> I will sell those instead. <laughs> Good lord, I didn't know they were that expensive. That's uh, 1.2 mil just for getting those mounts. Sweet. Ah, screw it. I'll be good to you guys. I'll throw down five more. Why not? Jesus. No, no, no. That's the thing, dude. I what I the only reason I bought this pack was because I thought it was a one-time purchase. And one-time purchases, I mean, that's fine. Like I have pretty much every pack in the entire game, right? But uh nope. I, I bought it once and then I was like, oh, okay, no, that's not a one-time purchase. It's just, that's it. You can just keep buying it over and over again. So, yep, I'll never do that again. It's too bad because it was actually, like, kind of exciting for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, next time I should go to the pit for sure. All right, what are these selling for? Six seven nine nine. Well then, six seven eight 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 eight. Get destroyed by my undercut. And let's do that one. Ten k less. Actually, no, that's twenty k less. There we go. Money. Oh yes, more pinatas. Yes, kill brothers, kill. You know what? While we're at it, let me get my children out. Yeah, star pinatas. Actually, you know what? I've got like how many of these? Four thousand of them. Don't mind if I do. I can throw down a hundred of these. Do I want to throw them here? No. I want to throw them in the pinata pit because these. It's annoying throwing them down here. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. See, and no one's the wiser. No one's even over here. <laughs> <laughs> Which means I have a chance to fill the whole pit. God, I wish you could throw these faster. Actually, let me Neon Ninja this, because Neon Ninja can actually throw down faster. You wouldn't think so, but it's true. Neon Ninja's got the fastest bomb throwing in the game, which is the same animation for pinatas. Fun fact. Ah, <sighs> uh, yes, Spooky. Thank you. Yeah, your best bet for joining the club is usually like asking in the Discord. Thankfully, Spooky's here to do it. Because I'm lazy and I don't like inviting on stream. Sometimes I'll invite in game, but I, honestly speaking, I don't really log into Trove that much if I'm not just doing Star Bar stuff. Good lord! There's so many items, and for some reason, none of them are being picked up by me. The heck? Had a brain fart there. Forgot the bard moved all the classes around. <clears throat> Neon Ninja Mining Medic. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Oh my god, these pinatas just keep going. Well, you know what? That's that. Thanks for coming out, guys. Really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, I, I've been, like I said earlier in the stream, I've been kind of taking a break for mental health reasons. Just, like, I'm doing fine. It's just kind of taking time off to myself, you know. Um, but I'm hoping to get things a little bit more on the ball and under control and stuff. Uh, technically, I do have a lot of other things that I could stream today. Am I going to? I don't know. Honestly, I'm probably just going to chill and... Uh, keep grinding minecraft <laughs> but i love you